Well, I think science is very good about making predictions and understanding the physical world. We've learned quite a lot about the universe. We've learned how old the universe is, where we are in the universe, and so forth. But more than that, physics has gotten more ambitious. We'd like to also understand the initial conditions of the universe, just not how it operates, but also how it got started. I think a theologian might come forward and say, well, have you really answered the question of, why is there a universe, <laughs> uh, as opposed to, no universe at all. It's easy to imagine no universe at all. So that's, a, I think, a question that, that science is not really answering or prepared to answer at the present time. But it is proper, I think, within the realm of science to ask the question of how our universe did get started. Scientists now speak of a multiverse where you can see different universes. Um, some of these are beyond our observational capability, but we talk seriously about them. It's an assumption of people to assume, well, the physical universe is all that you can ask about. That's an assumption. I think one of the things that we've learned in mathematics that's been very sobering is that Gerdel showed that you can't prove every theorem that you'd want in mathematics with a finite set of ax axioms. You have to keep adding more axioms. So I think uh, that philosophers and religious leaders and so forth are also going after the truth by different axioms and different s schemes and so forth. And Religion's older than science. We've been thinking about religious questions uh, for a long time, and I think we'll continue to think about them for a long time in the future. The Copernican principle would tell us that our observation point is not likely to be special. We're not likely to be at the very end of science or the very beginning of science. You're likely to be somewhere in the middle. So we've got important things to discover in the future, like the theory of everything. The same thing's true, I think, of religion. Religion's been very old, of different forms. And so I think we'd be unlucky if we were at the very end of that epoch and science was about to replace this. The sort of humble position to take is to, uh, people, people always tend to think that their field is special <laughs> and more important than all the other fields. <laughs> and so uh, for me personally, although I'm very excited about what science is, is doing, um, I, I think that uh, uh, it's one of the key things that we found to help to find truth in the world, but there's other methods for searching the truth as well, and these are important. I have great respect for what the people in all the world's great religions have contributed to human thought, and so I think that's a valuable thing to explore too.